behind me here you can see some of the devastation of the the flooding that we've had in in drew counties lincoln counties and deshay county hit probably the hardest um, we've had uh, at one point we had about 19.2 inches of rain in just over a few hours and so anytime you have that much water in one place you're going to have a lot of devastation um, and so one of the things that I've been doing is communicating with folks on the ground uh, in, in all of those counties, in all of my counties, and communicating with our farmers who've been uh, directly impacted, uh, hundreds of thousands of acres underwater, which is a significant loss uh, in, in crop loss. So we, we can't, uh, can't miss that, uh, that, that significant of, of impact. We're seeing a lot of bat water lately. Uh, the guys north of me were affected worse in the Roar, Dumas, Tiller area. But now all that water's coming down south and what we had just a couple days was just a few hundred acres and now we got several thousand acres that look just like a, a lake. I mean, there's no high ground. Uh, currently we're out at uh, Highway 1 at 43 Canal trying to patch a levee. Uh, if 43 Canal comes out of the bank, we could see another five foot of water. No telling how many thousands of acres that would put under. The county's out there doing that now. so. It's pretty serious down here. Tuesday, it's I guess it started around four four o'clock in the morning, and we got like 19 inches of rain by three o'clock that afternoon, somewhere in there. But I guess the official estimate was 19 inches, and by that afternoon, water was already backing out of the creeks, and bios were rising. I I got one pump that's probably. 20 feet underwater, we couldn't even get to it in time. Uh, just We just hope it gets out of here as fast as we can where we can replant and hopefully salvage something out of this this year.